Good morning all, Ooh, or afternoon. Doing a video today on spaghetti squash. Yes, that's a poor looking spaghetti squash. My wonderful trash company, they gave out some free compost. Don't get free compost. It must have been lawn clippings from like a golf course because, uh, well, everything won't grow in it. It turns yellow, it's stressed out, there's got to be herbicides and different things in there. But anyways, my daughter went to the grocery store and bought spaghetti squash, brought me the seeds and said, grow me, grow me. So I put them in my homing compost, which is this. And yes, this is spaghetti squash. As you can see the beautiful flowers. That's a male flower. See, there's no bulb there. Let's see if we can find a female flower. Yeah, see, there's a female flower. It's got the bulb on the end and the bee in there that I almost got stung by. Well, they started growing in here. This is just all our vegetable matter, leftover rotting stuff, and we throw it in different bins. It breaks down. Works great. It breaks down in like two weeks for me. I just throw it in a bin, let it start to rot. The birds come and eat the flies and different bugs that come around it. And then I cover it in dirt and wow, everything grows. But there were so many squash in there that started to grow because I threw in spaghetti squash that I decided to move it. And my husband had an old truck bed and uh, he filled it one day with manure from my neighbor's house. They have llamas and donkeys. So, I moved some of them. Oh, here, see? This is that compost that I got. Here's the compost. Nothing will grow in it. It's deadly. So I moved it into the bed he made. And we're going to walk over there. Those plants that you just saw before are the same age as these that I'm going to show you. This is my husband's wood chip collection. He's collecting wood chips. The mountain's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I can't even see anything past it anymore. Yeah, he loves his wood chips. But I stuck a few plants in to his almost straight manure. And this is what we ended up with. This is not even that old of a plant. It's massive. There's just a few plants in there. Look at the beautiful squash growing here. It's taken off on us. This is 90% llama. There are some horse and donkey manure. Look at these squash. Is this amazing? Look at the size of these things. Now they won't be ripe until this turns brown. But I'm wondering if you can pick them early and grate them up and make like squash squash pancakes or something. I don't know because we have so many. But we'll see and there's, yeah, I've got some Swiss chard growing there. There's another one in there. But there and there's more and he's been putting rebar all over it. I don't even know how many there are in here. They're everywhere. But this came from a few seeds from the grocery store, mind you, that my daughter ate, dropped off the seeds and said, grow me spaghetti squash. Well, we're growing spaghetti squash, and it's taken off, it's leaving. But that's our spaghetti squash in an old truck bed. When we bought the house, the guy left this old truck bed, and it's been sitting here, tried to sell it, tried to give it away, nobody wanted it. So, that's what he did. He filled it with manure, and we didn't even let the manure break down. He, it was in there for maybe two weeks, stuck in like six plants, and the leaves are massive. The leaves are bigger than your hand. It's, let me go back and show you the leaves one more time because the other ones that are growing are small. Look how big these leaves are. But it's just full of, see there's another male flower. Female flowers immediately get that little bulb. The males tend to come from the bottom of the plant, it looks like. And they're only good for a few hours. As soon as the sun comes up, a lot of the male flowers will close up which is interesting. I don't even see any female flowers on this, but I know that they'll be towards the tip. See, there's one. There's another one. And there's another one. There's a brand new one. See? 
And it's just going to keep going and going and going. It's going to be like a horror movie. It's going to take over and come into the house. And that's it. And again, there's his wood chips. It's his new project. So that's our spaghetti squash. Just thought I'd give you a show of our squash and hopefully we'll be able to get some on the dinner plate soon. They're just massive. And the plant's only been in there for, I would say less than two months. Okay, good luck growing spaghetti squash. It doesn't take much. The only thing that it was is when I planted it, zucchini seems to come up in about five days. This did take a little longer. That's why I thought the seeds were no good. And all of a sudden, close to almost, I'm going to say almost two weeks, they started popping out of my homemade compost. And then there were more seeds than I knew what to plant, I should say. Uh, there were more than what I knew what to do with. So I, that's why I stuck them in this bed that he had thrown all the, comp, uh, the um, manure in. And there it is. He did add some from the hillside because we live in the hills. So he added a little bit of dirt. It's got your rock dust and everything in it because it's natural and it's all fossilized up here. But that's it. Have a great day, everybody. Have fun growing squash. Bye-bye.